and thank you for joining us at this hour. Top on our news, the Taliban has claimed that they have taken complete control of Panjshir Valley. Panjshir, which is the last valley outside of Taliban's control, the National Resistance Front, however, denies these claims. Taliban spokesperson has claimed, and I quote, that Panjshir province has come under the complete control of the Islamic Emirate. He further wrote, some of the insurgents in the province were defeated and the rest fled. The Taliban has also assured the people of Panjshir Sharif that they will not be discriminated in any way. They are all our brothers. We will serve together for one country and one goal. End of quote. However, the National Resistance Front, or NRF, have denied the Taliban's claim, saying that the fire or the NRF are present in all strategic positions across the valley to continue the fight and that the struggle against the Taliban will continue. Despite the resistance claims, however, the Taliban flag has been raised at a market in the city of Bazarak, the capital city of Panjshir, and at the governor's house. These developments come a day after the leader of the National Resistance Front, Ahmed Masood, said that he is committed to peacefully resolving differences with the Taliban. Masood said he also welcomed proposals from religious scholars for a negotiated settlement to end the fighting. The Taliban took control of the rest of Afghanistan three weeks ago, but Panjshir has been the most prominent example of resistance to the Taliban. Even in the past, the region had resisted control by both invading Soviet army and the Taliban government that previously ruled from 1996 to 2001. We will discuss this further with our correspondent Anas Malik and also Sid Hunt Sibal, who will be joining us live from Kabul and New Delhi. I will start with Anas Malik. Thank you very much for joining us, Anas. Uh, the last anti Taliban forces in Afghanistan have acknowledged suffering major battlefield losses and called for a ceasefire. Can you confirm this? Well, uh, the last anti-Taliban forces did call for a ceasefire, did call for talks, but the call for talks had been rejected by the Taliban. Mohammad Nain, the spokesperson of the Taliban's political office, had said that uh, when the Taliban wanted to talk, Ahmad Masood had rejected the Taliban's offer to talks, and now there is nothing left to negotiate. After that, we saw uh, the Taliban making rapid progress. I was there in Panjshir just less than 24 hours ago, and we saw that uh, 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 we saw that uh, at least what we can we could have confirmed is that two of the districts were indeed in control of the Taliban, the district of Shutul and the district of Anaba. People who were coming from Panjshir towards Shutul because Shutul is the gate to Panjshir. Uh, they said that the Taliban had control of over uh, at least five districts. Uh, and then just a while back, we saw that statement coming in from uh, Zabiullah Mujahid, the Taliban spokesperson, who said, who has claimed to have conquered uh, the province of Panjshir. Now, uh, this is a claim for now. We saw a counterclaim by the NRF saying that uh, uh, the fight is ongoing. But then we saw those videos of uh, uh, the local commander who is leading the offensive, Commander Mubashir, raising uh, the Taliban flag, the white and black flag of the Islamic Emirate at the Bazarak's uh, uh, provincial headquarters. So uh, they might be fighting that uh, that could be uh, could have been ongoing, but it is safe to say. Uh, having spoken to local sources that at least six out of the seven districts are definitely are indeed in control of the Taliban. This is what local sources also confirmed to us. The Taliban claim to have overrun the entire province. Uh, so there are claims, there are counterclaims. But in a while from now, in a very short while from now, in about uh, uh, in less than an hour to be precise, the Taliban spokesperson Zabiullah Mujahid will be holding a press conference here in uh, Kabul. And this press con the announcement of the press conference comes after uh, the Taliban had uh, declared victory uh, on the province of Panjshir. Eric? Malik, the NRF has uh, vowed to fight the Taliban, but also said it was willing to negotiate with the Islamists. Is the Taliban likely to give in and hold dialogue in efforts to end the conflict in the long run? 
well the, the, well, the dialogue that was to take place uh, had been scuttled from both the sides. Uh, we saw a round of negotiations taking place on the 25th of August, roughly 10 days ago, in Charikar, uh, in the in Vilayat -e Charikar, the provincial headquarters of Charikar, which is the provincial capital of the province of Parwan, which borders with uh, with uh, the province of Panjshir as well. And there uh, we saw that both the sides had agreed uh, to uh, do the, had done this gentleman's agreement to not attack each other's post. Uh, a six-member Taliban delegation that was headed by Maulana Turabi, who was the former Peace and Justice Minister of the Taliban, met a 12-member Panjshir delegation that was headed by Basir Salangai. Uh, and these negotiations took place, or these rounds of talk took place in Charekar on the 25th of August. After that, uh, they were supposed to uh, hold another round of talks on Friday, the 27th of August, but that was scuttled due to the uh, due to the blast on 26th of August and after that both the sides uh, not holding to their sides of the commitment we saw Taliban attacking Kapisa province and trying to take back claim uh, which they did later that was a violation of Taliban on, on, on the part of Taliban the, the, the agreement that they had done the gentleman agreement they had done and on the other hand we saw a violation from uh, the Panjshiri side as well when they attacked the Andhrav Valley in order to take back control of the Andhrav Valley uh, after that on the 30th of August we saw the Taliban on the night of 30th of August. We saw Taliban launching a major offensive uh, to capture the province of Panjshir. On the 31st of August, we saw a statement, uh, an audio message coming in from Maulana Amir Khan Muttaki, the uh, chairperson or the head of Dawa and Guidance Commission, a Reconciliation Commission of the Taliban, who said that. Uh, those who are willing to fight will be fought, but he had urged that war is not the solution. Uh, and after that, we saw Taliban making gains and, and, and ingress uh, towards uh, Panjshir as well. Uh, though despite the, the claims, uh, there have been claims and there have been counterclaims. But as to the situation on ground, as what I've spoken to local sources as well, uh, there might be some truth in what the Taliban's claim would be. Eric? Anas Malik, thank you very much. Still with us on more on this is our principal correspondent, Sidhant Sibal from New Delhi. Sidhant Sibal, good to see you. Fahim Dashti, the spokesperson of Resistance Front in Afghanistan's northeastern province of Panjshir, has reportedly been killed. You were among the journalists who spoke to him last. Maybe you can describe to us what kind of person he was and some of the ideologies that made him a key figure in the NRF. Well, uh, he was an important figure when it comes to uh, the resistance, but also uh, being a key aide to uh, Ahmed Masood, who is leading the resistance, but also his father, Ahmed Shah Masood, who is considered uh, a key Afghan hero. He led the Northern uh, Alliance uh, in the 1990s uh, against uh, the Taliban. But that time, the resistance, it, team, it seems, was much more stronger. In fact, uh, uh, Ahmed Shah Masood was assassinated just two days before the 9-11. And Fahim Dasti was one of the people who survived the assassination. He, uh, his body was 90% burned. He went outside the country and... Uh, he came back to start uh, his uh, his uh, career in journalism. He, of course, was uh, leading uh, a journalist in Afghanistan. But his role in terms of last one month emerged as the spokesperson of the resistance. He has been speaking to many uh, media uh, media outlets, including with Beyond. I spoke to him on 2nd of uh, September. That is just a few days uh, ago. And he promised that he is going to shortly give an interview to Beyond. But after that, uh, there was no reply. In fact, uh, before that, he was regularly engaging with us, replying to all my messages, uh, uh, giving details of how the resistance is uh, uh, taking shape and making sure that Taliban uh, is getting a tough task in Panchi. He described how it was uh, a difficult task for the Taliban. He, in fact, uh, he released a statement as well uh, saying that how uh, 350 Taliban fighters have been killed. He, of course, uh, uh, is uh, the nephew of Dr. Abdullah, Abdullah, who is a key figure in uh, the Afghan politics as well. But nonetheless, uh, uh, the death of Fahim Dashti is a big, big blow to the resistance. We know uh, what the claims have been coming. Taliban has been claiming that they have got uh, an entire uh, jurisdiction over Panjshir. While the resistance has dismissed that in a tweet short while ago, uh, they said that Taliban claims are false. But nonetheless, amidst this entire developing scenario, it looks like it is kind of a civil war situation on the ground, especially in Panjshir. Sibal and Malik, thank you very much for your updates.